one weed that I get calls about all the time is chamber bitter. So where I came from, we call this gripe weed because it is a very difficult weed to control once it becomes established. So chamber bitter is a, a warm season broadleaf weed. We have it throughout the entire state. One of the reasons it is difficult to control is because it is a weed that tolerates mowing very well. So some weeds, when they're mowed repeatedly, uh, like they would be if they were in a lawn, they're not gonna go to seed. They're not gonna flower and go to seed. Chamber bitter can. Um, it, it can flower if it's, uh, if it's cut and mowed as short as uh, two inches. And so when it produces uh, flowers, those flowers will mature and it'll have little seed pods and those seed pods will be underneath um, the leaves. So that's a key identification characteristic of chamber bitter. Another identification characteristic are these little leaves. So it looks kind of like a little mimosa tree, which is, um, people will call it little mimosa weed in some cases, even though there's other weeds that are called uh, mimosa weed. Um, one of the reasons that it's difficult to control, like I said, because it does tolerate mowing very well. Um, when it's young and it's just emerged, and even if it's fairly large in size, if it's, if it's still succulent throughout and it hasn't started to develop a woody base or woody stems, it can be pretty easy to control with herbicides. Uh, but after it's uh, been there and it's been established for a while and it's mowed repeatedly, and even if it's very short, uh, once it starts to develop a woody base, uh, it becomes a lot more difficult to control. Those herbicides aren't gonna control it as well and we can burn off the top and it'll often uh, come back. Pre-emergence herbicides tend to work on it to control it pretty well. And then post-emergence herbicides will control it also. Uh, but like I said, if it is established and fully mature, it's another one of those weeds where you're probably going to have to treat maybe two or three times over the course of a few months before you control the entire population. Um, in planting beds, mulch is an effective option as long as it's applied about two to three inches thick. For more information on weed identification, contact your local University of Florida IFAS Extension Office.